and the house cord with the touchscreen control courtesy of the brand new Hypersynth and it sounds amazing as you heard you can do little detuning things with the touch screen and adjust the filter anything you want this video we're just talking about instant Euclidean fills and there may be some other way to do it but the way I'm doing it today is by using tables if you've used the M8 long enough you probably figured out that the way to make things super easy is just to have a template you can just jump right in you've got your tracks filled in you know you're gonna do a bass track you know you're gonna do pads or whatever and you just get that all that in there so every time you just load it up well this is one of those things that you can add to your template so I'm using tables to create the Euclidean pattern and I can just switch and I'm using a one two three four on up for however many Euclidean triggers that I want and so you put your first note in there so that's the rim tap the first rim tap and then if we go shift right right we're looking at the table so by holding down option you can get to your different tables so this is table a1 I didn't put a Euclidean hit in one uh, the first one I put in was three. So this is where your three Euclidean triggers go. And you use the FX retrigger and then a one zero for the value on those. Holding down option and I go to four triggers. And of course, they're just evenly divided. Five looks like this Euclidean. Six, seven. 8, again, evenly divided, 9, 10, 11. If you want to further divide at Euclidean, you can put in the 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. You could, I didn't put in all the hits. You'd put a hit on every one, of course. And you could use it then for something like the hi-hats. And so you could see the, the beauty of this, really. You don't just have to do Euclidean fills. You could put your, your standard drum patterns that you use. You could pick your favorite artists and the favorite drum beats that you like to use a lot. And you can put them in tables. And now with the new OS, we have parallel tables. So you don't even have to use your table up for this. If you don't want to, you could do it in a parallel table. And think about this. Wouldn't it be cool if you were using your touchscreen to control your hypersynth, and then you went to bank two and had some other function of the touchscreen, bank three, bank four, and had different touchscreen settings. Wouldn't that be awesome? Uh, well, that's not in there yet, but that's something that would be cool, wouldn't it? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little tip, and be sure and subscribe, hit the bell for all, and I'll see you in the next video.